Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create 3D graphs inside of Microsoft Excel using XYZ data. Now, the three different types of graphs I'm going to be showing you is 3D scatter plots, 3D lines, and 3D surface graphs. I'm going to be showing you two different methods of creating each one. The first method is going to be a formula method where it is completely for free. The other method is going to be an application that you can use that makes the task a lot easier and simpler. And all of the examples that we have and the products are going to be listed in the description down below. Thank you all, and I hope that this video helps you. So as I mentioned to you before, the first method I'm going to show you is how to make a 3D scatter plot inside of Microsoft Excel using XYZ data. And the first thing that I'm going to look at is a 3D cube right here. Now I cannot take credit for making this 3D cube. However, I can give you the references that I have here for this application and this is under Excel Unusuals Engineering and 2D slash 3D animation blog post. So there's a whole section dedicated to this. In fact, they have lots of different uh, formulas and Excel documents that you can even download. There's some right here. And I'm gonna have a link to all of these in the description. If you've never been to Excel Unusual, you really should check it out. It has lots of fun, neat things that you can do with the graphing options inside of Excel that Excel was not really meant to do, but you can do all of this using math. In fact, this is one of the documents that we have opened up right now. Now these are 100% unlocked. What is actually being graphed in this data, if you click on it, it should come up, but it's actually these values right here that are being graphed in the X and Y. And you can see where they're linked to, you can see what they're linked with, and you can see all the different formulas that go along with it. We also have all of this explained in our blog post on how to graph three-dimensional data with the formulas. Now the other application that we have for graphing three-dimensional data inside of Excel is called XYZ Mesh. And this is XYZ Mesh. It is a application that is a standalone application that exports data into Microsoft Excel. So as you can see right here, we have a the four little dots. Actually, we have a lot more than four dots. It's the same cube that we graphed before. And we can actually go down here and change this to a line and we can see that we are still graphing the same cube. Now this is fine, but how do we get this into Excel? It's really easy to get this into Excel. All we have to do is go down here to Excel 3D chart, click that and we can either select a scatter plot or a line graph. And I'm just going to select a scatter plot for now so you can see what it looks like. And then I click export to Excel. You also have that same option going to file and export to Excel and it will take all that data and export it into Excel as well. So right here we have our cube, we have the rotation, we have the different planes that we can adjust so you can see where they are located at individually. And if we want to change this into a line graph, all we have to do is click on one of the points and we can go up to chart design, chart type, and we can change it to whatever type of chart we want. So an XYZ scatter plot, we can change this to be with lines. Okay. And there we have the exact same cube plotted inside of Microsoft Excel and we didn't have to do any coding for it. We also have all the formulas unlocked right there as well. So you can see how the formulas are made, what is being used for the X and the Y values. Because XYZ Mesh takes your data and puts it into a formula for you, you can actually change your data sets once it's converted over and add in different markers for different data points. So all you have to do is select your data points that XYZ Mesh converts for you and adjust the X and Y values on the first series of data. You then right click on the chart and go to select data. 
Once you have your data selection window pulled up, you can then specify what your next series is going to be, and that will give you a new marker for that series of data or a new color. So for instance here, I am selecting a different set of data for the X and the Y values of the converted over data that XYZ Mesh gave me, and now I have both diamonds and squares plotted on our 3D scatter chart. You can also do this with line colors as well. So there's not really a limit to how many data points you can plot using this method. Now the next type of chart that I would like to show you is a chart that is known as a surface graph or a wireframe mesh. And this can be done inside of Microsoft Excel by simply taking your XYZ data like we have here and just plotting it in the correct format. So for instance, whenever you are plotting XYZ data into a mesh format, you are going to want to format it like this. And I'm doing these colors just so I can show you a good reference. So you have XYZ data and the format that it's going to be in is X is going to be on the side going down. So it's going to be your rows. That's going to be your X. The Y is going to be the column. So it's going to be the name of the column is going to be the Y. And then the Z is going to be everything inside of those. So basically what this is, you're going to be plopping down the values that you have. So let's say the lowest value we have here, it looks like it is five. So it's going to be five and then six, seven, eight, 9, 10, those are going to be our X values, which is right here. Then we need to go over to our Y values, and it looks like we have from 2 to 13. So we have 2, 3, all the way to 13. And then inside of here is going to be all of our Z values. So our Z values are going to be in the corresponding spot. So 9, 11 is going to be zero. So we drop down here, we go to nine, and that's going to be zero. Then let's go on down to the next one. Nine, 10 is also going to be zero. So this nine, and you all. continue to do that all the way down until you have all of your values put in place. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to skip forward and do that really quick. Okay, so you have all of your XYZ data converted over into a mesh. How do you change this data that you have here into a surface graph? Well, once you have all of your data lined out correctly, select the data that you have, go to insert, and then go to this waterfall chart, and you can drop down to surface graph. And as you can see, you now have a surface graph of your data. And you can even rotate this in 3D by right clicking and going to 3D rotation. A new window is going to pop up over to the side and you can see you can now rotate this in 3D, mostly in 3D. There are a few limitations with it, but you can see the data is there. Now with this setup, the empty data points are actually counted as zero. They're not filled in as empty points. And in order to actually fill this in, you're going to need to come up with your own set of formulas. So the easiest formula, formula would be to figure out the distance between the cells, average them, and then add them back together. So for instance, this value would actually be equals to this, subtract this, divided by how many spots you're going over, which would be two, and then you add that back to your first point. Or let's add that back to our top point. There we go. So that would now be that point added in. And as you can see, the graph changed. So it doesn't actually, if you see right there, it doesn't actually plot data like it's supposed to. It just fills in all these empty, empty data points as being zeros. Now, XYZ Mesh can do this for you automatically.
XYZ mesh. If you just take these data points like we have here, we already have them copied over. We can convert this over to an Excel mesh very easily. We just click Excel mesh. And if we want to have just the single points, all we have to do is click single points and we can convert that over to a mesh. It will run the calculations for us. It'll put in all the data points where they need to be at and it will populate it for us right here. So as you can see, these values are populated in exactly in the same place that they are in this one over here. But if we were to plot this in Excel, it would give us the same graph. Instead, where XYZ Mesh really shines is the complete curve option. So whenever you have this option selected and you complete a mesh curve or a Excel mesh conversion, it will actually take all the data points, it will plot them down and then fill in any empty data points with a mathematical equation that will give you a curve. If we want to export this to Excel, all we have to do is go to File, export to Excel and we have all these different options available to us simply just click export to Excel and now we have a completed curve mesh drawing or graph that we can then rotate inside of Excel and we can save this in an an Excel document and send this wherever we need it to go. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below or email our support. And until next time, have a great rest of your day. Hi, I'm Kyle, owner and operator of Great Technical. Thank you all so much for making it at this point in the video. And if you are here, go ahead, like, and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot and it lets me know that the content I'm making is stuff that you all like to see. Go ahead, leave us a comment as well. Let me know if there's anything that you would like to see in the future or if you have any future updates that you would like to have included in our products in the future. I would also like to say that being a company owner, I am very proud to be able to support businesses and students. I am also extremely proud to be able to support content creators. So if you have a content platform, you make videos, or if you have a blog and you would like to reuse some of our content, or if you would like to review some of our products, go ahead and send me an email. My email is right here, support at greattechnical.com. Get in contact with me. We can see what we can get worked out. And until next time, thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day.